Okay, I finally got a minute to uh, work on another project, so the plan today is to get started on the generator circuit. So the first thing I need to do is get the box ready for it. So this is my electrical panel here in my garage. My power comes in here, and then it goes over to the house. Um, the house is actually a sub-panel on this. Uh, in order to run the generator interlock switch, you need to have the your generator breaker right here. So what I'm going to have to do is move all these down, actually two. I'm going to have to move them all down two, and then install my new breaker right there for the generator. What I'll probably actually do is move my uh, compressor one back up on top of the house one, because the house one goes all the way across. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the power and get to that. So I'm going to shut the camera off here because I'm going to be working in the dark here. And I'm going to take the box cover off and start moving everything down. Okay, well I got my breakers moved down now. I got all my caution labels and all that crap put on. I do need to relabel my... All my labels are going to be off. So I'm going to have to probably make up a new sticker and put it on there. Um, one more thing. The next thing, next thing I need to do is here is the plate for the interlock switch. I got to mount it just like so. Mark my holes, and then take the um, panel cover off. Drill the holes out, and then put this back on. And then while I'm in there, I'm going to also put my zip ties. You're supposed to zip tie it to the breaker next to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that when I have it off the next time. So what I'm going to do right now, I think, is just uh, mark these holes, drill them, and get this part installed. If the panel open, and it is on, um, that way I can have some lighting in here to show you this. So I put the zip tie around. You can see it that holds them together. It's got the warning label on it, and then there's also a warning label on the zip tie. So I think we're all good in the uh, safety warning department. So I've got the holes drilled. Uh, this had a... This had a drill bit supplied with the kit, so I got the holes drilled. I'm going to go ahead and um, hook both pieces of the uh, interlock on, and then I'll put it back in place. Okay, we got it all installed. Uh, put Loctite on the threads of the three bolts, and that should do it right there. We'll put it in place and uh, double, ch double check it, verify that it's going to work, but it should unless I got some kind of a clearance issue. I don't see why it wouldn't work. You can see the bolts just, uh, they just go through from the back side. They go through both of the pieces of the interlock. And that's all you got right there. So I'm going to put it in place and we'll double check. Okay, it's all back together. We're going to give it a shot and make sure it works the way it's supposed to. I'm going to go ahead. No, I cannot turn that breaker on. So we'll go ahead and shut the main off. And now we can turn that breaker on. But we can't turn the main on with that on. So that's exactly what we want. So this is the cheapest way that you can safely hook up a generator to your house legally. I think this is a good spot to call it quits for the day. I've got everything labeled, everything done in the box. I've got to mount the uh, I've got to mount my generator box just outside here. I'm just doing a short little run right outside my walk-in door to my garage here. I'm going to mount that on the outside and run probably a little piece of conduit down along the cement and then it's going to go through the uh, through the wall to the box. So I think I'll just call her for today, finish her up another day. Okay, it's tomorrow now. So, got some more work done on wiring in the generator. Uh, last time I had got the uh, breaker all wired in and ready to go. So now I bought some flexible conduit. And I ran it from the box, down, around, out. Oh, a little sunny today. And I have my generator box mounted right here. And this is what's going to 
plug in at. So all I have left to do now is just run the wire. So I'm going to get to that. And what I did for the wire, I had bought this pretty long extension cord, which I'm just going to pull my generator right outside the door. My generator usually stays right under this little table here by the door. So I'm going to run some of this wire down through the conduit, and I screwed up and didn't buy big enough a conduit. So I'm going to have to take the outer yellow insulation off when I run it. And I'll run just how much I need, cut it off, and then I will put the end back on. I'll put this back on with a shorter and just have a shorter extension cord because all I really need it for is just to plug that generator into that outlet outside. So we usually just wheel it out the door. So hopefully I can get this project all wrapped up today and test it out. And then another project I have with this, I have two projects with a generator. Uh, you can see that little tractor muffler. Uh, I'm going to bend some pipe up and try to mount that onto there and have it where it can just bolt on and come off. If you want to put it back to the stock configuration, you can do that. Or you can add the extra muffler. And I'll probably have it uh, pipe bend down, around, and then back up. And then have this muffler with a tab bolting it to the frame here. Um, and then I'll just be able to unbolt it and set it aside if I want and put the leave it stock if I want. So that's one project with this. And I'm also looking into getting a propane conversion kit, which I think is a good idea um, if you were prepping at all for anything, any kind of disaster even, or if you're a crazy apocalypse um, prepper, it's a good idea to have um, different options for fuel. Personally, I would rather, I'm thinking propane will be good. I can get 100-pound uh, cylinders and hook them up to it, which would be easy for, you know, have a couple full ones around because unlike gasoline, propane doesn't get stale. So I could have a couple. So what I'm doing now is I'm just stripping the yellow um, insulation off of all the wires, and then I'm just feeding the loose wires in through the conduit. And then I'll just keep doing that until I have enough wire out in the electrical panel and then I'll just be able to cut it here wire it up to the outlet and then I'll wire the end on and then all I have to do once I get to that point is just run it up to my breaker right there and uh, up to the uh, neutral ground bar and we'll be good to go okay so there's my breaker it's wired up and that's all ready to go. Wires in down through the conduit. And it's wired up out here to the box. So we are ready for a test now. Okay, so we got her all set to go. We got the panel back on. Right now the breaker is off and the main is on. I got my extension cord back together. Plugged into the box. Plugged into the generator. So we're ready to go ahead and start up the generator and then try switching it and see how she goes. So I'm going to give it a couple pulls. You can uh, watch and see how it goes. So we'll give her a little choke, turn it on, see what happens. Just fine. 